Hi, and welcome to this quick little tutorial to show you how to navigate around in this virtual field trip that I've created. Uh, when you first enter the field trip, you'll kind of be presented with two big screens. The left hand side will be the photosphere, which is pretty easy to navigate, uh, pretty intuitive. Just by clicking and holding on the mouse, you can go up and down and left and right and see all the goodies that are waiting for you to be seen. You can use your scroller wheel in the middle of your mouse to zoom in and out. So if you roll forward, it zooms in. And if you roll back, it zooms out. I, I, I took some pretty high resolution photos, so you should get some pretty good detail um, quite far away. On the right hand side is a map to orient you as to where you are uh, in the world. It comes up with a, just a blank satellite with no um, information given really about place names or anything, but you can change that and I'll show you how. And then this uh, kind of semicircle that's right here, or quarter circle I guess, shows the field of view at which you're looking and in which compass direction you're looking, which is kind of slick. So in this case, I'm looking to the east and you can also notice on the top right hand corner of the photosphere area, you also have a compass that shows exactly which direction you're looking. Uh, and when you zoom in and zoom out, it obviously narrows your field of view. And so the corresponding slice of the circle of the field of view gets smaller as well. Um, I'd just like to go back to the map really quick before I show you the other tools in the photosphere, how to navigate it. Uh, if you click on the map area, that gives you names, but not much information topographical that's useful to us. So if you hover over the map, a drop down for the terrain checkbox will open up. And if you open that or click on that, then you can kind of get the terrain layout that Google uses to show uh, exactly what the topographic features look like. And they're kind of hidden in, this, in the um, satellite view. So this is perhaps a better way to have another idea of what's happening at the site. So once you're comfortable with the map, you can either use these buttons on the left or the right. If you click on one of those, uh, it'll take you to that corresponding scene and show you which direction you're looking. If you don't like the map and you think it's annoying and you want to go full screen, uh, just go down to the bottom uh, center of your photosphere and you have a control panel that can get rid of it. And it's that globe looking icon. You click on that and it's gone for as long as you want it. If you want it to come back, you just click back on it and it'll show the map again. Uh, the other things that you just need to see really quickly to learn how to navigate uh, are the thumbnails over to the side. You can click to each one of those stops just by hovering over it and clicking on it and it'll take you there. For instance, let's go to, well, we're already at stop three. How about stop two? So you can go to stop two and you can see what's at stop two. Uh, the title of the stop will show you, or will show up at the top of the screen up here. Uh, if you perhaps just want to go to the next screen in order, you can use these arrow tabs that show up on the side and that'll also navigate you to a different scene. So once you're within those scenes, uh, there's a couple of things you can do. There are these tabs that show um, hey, there's a U-shaped valley over there. That might be interesting and helpful for us. And if you click on it, kind of some helpful hints will pop up in this first tour. The second tour I'm making will actually be annotated to show you what I'm seeing uh, as a geology instructor. Uh, but for now, it's kind of helpful hints to, to guide you along the way and provide you reference um, material anyways to look at your reference materials. So you basically close that text box by clicking the text box again or clicking that tab. Uh, if you notice there's the red buttons here, those will also take you to some more stops. So if I, you click on it in there, oh hey look, I'm back at stop six now. And there's an equal number of tabs or so, maybe five or six in each stop that are kind of highlighting points of interest for you to go and check out. So that's pretty easy. Down here, there's some other little navigating tools. Uh, if Let's say you're working on a laptop and you don't like using the control pad. You can use uh, these buttons on the control pad to click in and out. Um, or what's even easier is on the number pad on the keyboard, you can use the plus sign and the minus sign to zoom in and out. Uh, 
you can also use these to move left or to move right. Uh, I prefer this grabby hand to move and uh, basically walk myself through here and orient myself. You can also choose a different type of control mode, which is kind of like a, a, a panning button. It's a little bit smoother. You don't grab, you just click and hold and kind of gently nudge the mouse in one direction. I don't think this is as user friendly in a laptop setting. So I'm going to click back to the handy grab. Uh, another slick one that you need to know about because hotspots may be turned on or off um, is this one. If they're not showing and you want to see hotspots, you click on that and the hotspot tabs come back. If you want them out of the way, just so you can get some kind of pure in the moment, like you were really there experience, you just turn them off. Uh, the VR mode, that only goes for smartphones. If you have Google Cardboard or Google Glass, it's still kind of an early testing phase, but it works fairly well. Not quite as well as the big screen, though, here. All right, and I'm going to turn these hotspots back on. The last thing I need to show you is this. These flashing icons mean there's a 3D model that I've created. So. Uh, I took about 95 pictures or so of different rock specimens and I put it through a photogrammetry program which basically makes a really cool 3D model. So if those are there, this is kind of the equivalent of picking up a giant rock and looking at it for yourself. You can uh, note the scale, there's scale on all of them so you can see how big this is. So there's one centimeter down to the millimeter marks. You can rotate on the top, you can look at the side, uh, you can use your scroll mouse or the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and to zoom out. And I can see a few little vesicles and gas bubbles that are in there on this dark rock. It looks kind of interesting to me. And when you're done with this, you can either just close the tab uh, or go back to the other tab and you're back in the photosphere. So that's pretty much it. The only other thing is if you want to hide all the thumbnails, you can hide them off to the side. If you want to show them, you click that. Uh, a feature that might be kind of slick if you're a teacher is you can turn on this auto rotation and it will scroll behind you, which I can see being useful in front of a class uh, if you're kind of doing an introduction and a lecture and just want to be a little bit hands off and talk about things that you see. Uh, should you choose to interact with it, it uh, gets overridden by you touching it. If you let go, it, I think it takes three or four seconds and then it starts back on its auto rotation. If you want to stop that, you just click stop auto rotation and you're done. Um, there is a full screen mode if you want that to get rid of the control bars and the, and the tabs. Or if you really want to get rid of everything, you just click hide controls and it goes into this little tab at the bottom and you have a completely junk free screen, assuming you turned off the hotspots. So that's the easiest way I can sh think of showing you how to navigate this. Um, if you have any questions, please email me. It's on the website and we'll troubleshoot it. Thank you.